you know, just because something uh, can be proved, it doesn't necessarily mean that it exists. And just because something exists doesn't mean it can be proved. So if you take those principles, then, you know, and you hear what, um, what is like um, discoveries in physics or kind of um, proposed theorem or ideas, it's essentially, it's the pinnacle point of like imagination, you know, trying to answer these massive questions that maybe we can never answer. And it's, it's just play. I love the idea of trying to um, rationalize. It's what we do. We try to rationalize everything. So we come up with, you know, black holes as these singularities and, you know, white holes. It's so stimulating to the imagination. And I think that we need to kind of hold on to ideas which are separate to the reality of, of what we're in now. The first series, the push and pull, um, the starting point was obviously the the black hole and the white hole and this bridge between them which I mean for a few days I was just drawing circle circle and then a line between them and kind of you let your hand get loose and you, you know you just play you just move between it and then I started doing that on canvas where the hand goes loose and none of it was planned and then started building forms to go around it structure is something that's so human I mean if you look at the infinitely small and the infinitely big it's um, the forms are so much more organic and beautiful. I wanted to put structures around this bridge, which is how I started the push and pull work. And then, as I was researching it, I saw a professor, she was talking about the idea of what happens if you did go through a black hole. Your body, everything about you would be spaghettified. You, atom by atom, you'd be ripped apart and you'd be, you'd come out the other side, but you'd be whole again. But during that process, you'd be completely dissolved. And I love that idea and the fact that people can accept that idea. It's just about like how we can explain these things. And so the works, the cut, started with trying to draw spaghettified shapes within a prism. And um, there was a, the, the first one, the cut one, has got a big razor blade on top of it. And it's how you, just an incision inside that bridge, just take a look and see what it looks like inside the bridge when um, objects or matters transferring through and it looks spaghettified and that's was kind of it was a playful notion that began those works and then the the final series the well I say final series I worked on them all simultaneously but the eternal balance series are about harmony so um, again the work started with them um, imagine like the Tower of Babel upside down you have that kind of or a ziggurat upside down it's small blocks and it kind of builds out and that's the way the work, the composition started, but rather than just having uniform uh, le ledges, I wanted to have loads of different kind of forms. Some chaotic, some harmonious, um, some ugly, some beautiful, but they all balance each other out. So they all work together in a way. The compositions are very much about the balance in the works. I treat a, a canvas like a tapestry. Um, and, you know, through your career, you're kind of constantly adding um, new swatches to your palette. Um, not just colours but swatches, so like gradients or um, pattern work or these kind of things or working one colour over another or watering down one colour to make it a wash over another and see how that works. So at this stage I've done so much exploration um, that um, there is loads of block colour of course but then a lot of it is kind of wash colour, a lot of it is fast, fast flowing, fast moving colour um, and especially in I think eternal balance. Um, I've combined the um, the kind of the very free flowing movement of you know a series like uh, push and pull with the rigidity of or the geometry that I use. Uh, I'm kind of I use more, and so it's just it's just building up repertoire, building up building up the work, and um, building up different ways of uh, different ways of working.